Hi, my name is Dr. Ronnie Michigwang, and for the next 30 minutes, we are going to have a 30 minute extravaganza with two of Uganda's finest academic institutions facing it off in a challenge. A challenge which will entail monetary policy, financial concepts, general issues, Bank of Uganda mandates, you name it, they're going to be facing off tete a tete. All that's going to be happening, what for? Well, the incentive is quite significant. Laptops, hard cash, swag, bragging rights, and millions of shillings in bursaries. But before we get to the competition, I've got one simple question. Will you take the challenge? Welcome to the challenge, powered by Bank of Uganda. And you at home can take part in all this action online. You can follow us on Facebook, on Twitter, or you can check out our website. Or you can get, actually, a couple of minutes and answer the questions, because we've got an exciting game which is going to be happening right here on television. But as for now, you know, a lot of people have been asking, what happens? Where does all this money come from? And you know, I keep spending it right, left, and center. Does it never get finished? Well, the good news is that Bank of Uganda ensures that currency is issued from time to time. And when you speak about currency, you know, a lot of times people wonder, uh, who is going to be now ensuring that at the end of the day, this currency actually is clean? Well, Bank of Uganda does all that and more. And I'm sure you have so many questions. And we also have questions for you. But before you answer questions, you must have a team. A team that is ready to face the challenge. So ladies and gentlemen, what I'd like to do is I'd like to introduce the two killer teams from all over Uganda who are going to be facing off in today's challenge. Please welcome the team on the challenge, powered by Bank of Uganda. From St. Henry's College, Kitovu, Alex Rutaremwa, Theophilus Negule, Alfred Ayikoyo and Ronald Mawanda from Tororo Girls School, Patricia Amuge, Hilda Chelangat, Sandra Wanyeze, and Feni Namataka. Welcome to the challenge powered by Bank of Uganda. It's going to be a fun filled show. We've got on my right Shaq. Man, oh man, Shaq, how are you guys doing? We are great. Mm. Now you guys don't look great, man. When you're pumped up in, in Shark, how you guys feel? What do you say? Shark, raw, raw. Okay. And to my left, I've got Toro Girls School. Toro Girls School, how are you ladies feeling today? We are feeling well, good. And, and when you're excited in, in Toro Girls, what do you guys say? The bright stars of the East. That's it. You don't seem very bright today. Oh, we are very bright. All yeah. right. No problem. What's going to happen in today's show is that we've got a number of different categories. And we're starting it off with one of the most exciting ones. It's called Cumulate. In front of you, you've got buzzers. And each of the buzzers, the moment you buzz them, means that you're ready to answer a question. Each question that you answer correct will give you 10 points. These 10 points now will enable you to put some points on the board. If you buzz and you get the question wrong, I can hand it over to the opposing team. Are we together? Yes. Let's play. Cumulate. Which is not likely to be a result of high inflation? Shaq, what is the answer? A, people increasingly relying upon barter trade, or B, people will be more likely to postpone major purchases. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Ladies and gentlemen, that is correct. That's 10 points to Shaq. Let's give them a huge round of applause. <laughs> Next question. Which one of the following is the best example of commodity money? All right, gold coins, business stocks, a valuable painting, or Uganda shilling bills? Yes, tell me TGS. Business, business stocks. Business stocks. Unfortunately, that is incorrect. And I'm going to give an opportunity to hand over to Shaq. Shaq, would you like to take the challenge? Absolutely. All right, for five points, which one of the following is the best example of commodity money? C. 
C, a valuable painting. Well, unfortunately, that is also incorrect. The actual correct answer is gold coins. Commodity money is, you know, money which its value comes from its form itself. And gold is valuable, all right? So, let's move on. Next question. The Bank of Uganda's central bank rate decision is based mainly on? Yes, Sha, what's the answer? Past inflation, current inflation, forecast of future inflation, past GDP, and inflation. Which C one is it? C. C is correct. Let's give it up for Shaq. They've got 20 points right now. Next question up. SWIFT stands for? Yes, TGS. Source with Interbank Financial Transfers, Society for Wiring, Society for Worldwide Interbank, or Statement for Worldwide International Transfers. Which one is it? A. Eh. It is A, sourced with interbank financial transfers. That is incorrect. Shaq, would you like to take the challenge? No. no. They don't want to take the challenge. Man, you guys are chickening out. Huh? What's up? I thought Shaq came to attack. All right, the correct answer is C, the Society for Worldwide Interbank Financial Telecommunication. <laughs> Next question. Face value of a currency is? Yes, TGS. The value of the printed, minted on currency banknotes or coins to represent its monetary value. Projected value versus another currency. The value of the currency when the economy is facing inflation or the future core value currency. Which one is it? It's A. It's A. Ladies and gentlemen, that is correct. Let's give it up for TGS. Fantastic, fantastic. And that brings us to the end of this round. Fantastic. Let's give a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. All right, and there you have the scores as they stand. The next category is a relatively simpler one. You can release your fingers from the buzzers. It's called a round robin, odd man out. I'll start off with the ladies, then I move to you, Shaq. Are we ready to go? Yes. All right, first question. Which one is the odd man out? The Zimbabwe dollar, the Dutch mark, the French franc, or the Sudanese pound? C. 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 The French franc. Aha, uh -huh. I think that is totally incorrect. I'm going to give a chance to Shaq for five points. B. B. Yes. B, the Dutch mark. That is also incorrect. The actual correct answer is the Sudanese pound because it's the only currency right now that is actually still in use. The Zimbabwe dollar, the Dutch mark, and the French franc no longer exist. Let's move on to the next question, which goes to you. Which is the following? Which of the following is the odd man out? The Financial Institutions Act, the Microfinance Deposit Taking Institutions Act, the Cooperatives Act, or the Foreign Exchange Act? It's A. It's A. That is totally incorrect. I'm giving a chance to TGS. Will you take the challenge? Yeah, we'll take the challenge. Go ahead. What is the answer? It's C. C, it's the Cooperatives Act. That is correct. Which one is the odd man out in terms of portraits on currencies? C. C. Why is it C? Mm, Obama does not appear on the US currency as now. Well, I think that is correct. Let's give them a huge round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, in the United States, uh, sitting presidents are not allowed to appear on any, any currency notes. So I think that brings us to the end of this round. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a huge round of applause to both our contestants. These are the scores. We are tied right now as we stand. Right next, we move on to the next category, which is one of my personal favorites. We call it Memorize. What we're going to do, contestants, is that we're going to give you a chance to, ch to watch the screen and pay attention. Remember as many things as you can and ensure that when I ask them from you, you give me a detailed answer. Are we ready? Will you take the challenge? I sure. Will you take the challenge? Yes. yes we'll take All right, it. let's kick it off right now. I'll start off with you. Phyllis, I want you to tell me what you saw in detail. What did you see? An acronym for Great Britain Pound. Pound. That is very correct. Ten points to you. What did you see, Hilda? I saw the, uh, the visa card. A visa card. 
As to the visa, visa sign, uh, but that's, that's just, as, just the same. Next up, Ronald. One shilling, one Uganda shilling. One Uganda shilling, that is correct. What did you see, Benny? The, the Airtel logo, Airtel. What was that? The Airtel money logo. Airtel money logo. Why were we focusing on Airtel money? I think it is a money remitter. Pause. Okay. Thank you very much. It's a way of transacting and sending and receiving money. So, next question. Uh -huh. What did you see? A check. A check. That's correct. Ten points to you. What did you see? Short form for electronic clearing system. Which is ECS. That is very correct. What else did you see, Phyllis? Uh, an acronym for Uganda National Interbank Central Medicine System. That is correct. Eunice, I give you full marks for that. What did you see, Hilda? So the one pound. One pound from which country, Hilda? That, that is in, incomplete. I give you a chance to take that question for five points. One pound from which country? You, United Kingdom. That is correct. You get five points for that. Thank you very much. Is there anything else that you saw? No. Did you see anything else? No. All right. What else we saw, you can have a look at this on the screen. They missed out the sign for the euro, yes. The electronic funds transfer point of sale, you missed out on that. The US dollar was also missed out. Then you also had the commemorative coins, the Uganda ones. So it seems you guys are not very patriotic. But have no fear. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the scores right now with Shaq in the lead. But will it stay that way? That's a question which we can only answer right here on Challenge Powered by Bank of Uganda. We're coming back after the break with more action right after this.